tenders and fries and Texas toast. They kind of put you in the mind of Raising Cane's, you guys. But they're in the Florida style of things. They're in the Florida area, so you know what I'm saying? Why not try it out? Alright, so... First time for us. Yeah, we gonna, we gonna see. Because Ra Raising Cane's, it was on I point. I figured as much. <laughs> I figured as much. Man. Siri, Siri trying to join the mukbang, y'all. <laughs> These phones. And she said it right on point when you said Raising Cane's. It was on point. I figured as much. <laughs> <laughs> yep. They were on point. We like Raising Cane's. We went to Ohio. We definitely um liked it. So, um, I guess we'll get into this one, baby. Blessing session. All right, now. Most gracious Father, we come thanking you for this food we have received for the nourishment of our bodies. We thank you for our friends and loved ones that have come in to join us. We ask that you may add a blessing unto them and their loved ones. This is our prayer in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Here we go. So, you guys, we have um, some honey mustard sauce here. Mm -hmm. The honey mustard. And we also have some Huey Magoo sauce, which is like an herb sauce, it smells like. That's, that's, no, uh. No, that's not the Huey Magoo sauce? Okay. Uh uh. That's the Huey Magoo sauce. Okay, this is the Huey Magoo sauce, you guys. I don't know if you can see that. And it kind of looked like the Raisin Cane sauce. Yes, it does. That is the uh, garlic parmesan. Yeah, garlic parmesan sauce. I'm sorry, you guys. That's what that is, exactly. And this is the honey mustard. Okay. And this, they have a sweet heat sauce. Mm-hmm. And... I got some ketchup for my fries. Yep. We got that toot boot sauce again. Cutie cute sauce. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ever since you went and seen Kim, you all been doing his sauce. We gonna keep doing cute sauce. That's right. And we got some coleslaw, y'all. They coleslaw look pretty good, too. So I'm interested to try it. I'm not a big coleslaw eater, but today I got a taste for some. So, And, it, and it's very creamy. They, they definitely sauce it up. Mm -hmm. We gonna see. I don't like everybody coleslaw. Me neither. That's why I don't eat coleslaw a lot, because I don't care for everybody's version of it. Um, got that stuff. I don't like slop bop. Got that stuff mm -hmm. all slopped up. Mm, it tastes pretty good, baby. Mm-hmm. We gonna see. It tastes pretty good. I'm serious. And you know I'm not a big coleslaw eater. You eat it before I eat it. My kind of call me Mikey from the Chats commercial. No, I'm not. <laughs> Sarah, Mikey will eat it. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Tell them my age. <laughs> well, in our situation, come on now. They need to tone down the, the mayonnaise a little bit, but yeah, but it's pretty good, ain't it? Yeah, it's good. It's seasoned good. You can tell somebody old made it. Mm -hmm. A young person didn't make this. <laughs> All right, let's taste these tenders, y'all. Mm -hmm. All right. They fry pretty good. The fries good, seasoned crinkled fries. Mm -hmm. Um, they can be a little bit crunchier. Mm -hmm. Well, you know because when they put them in those styrofoam boxes and you travel home, or if you don't poke a hole inside, well, we didn't even do that, but they still got a little firmness to them, despite the travel. Okay. They look sweet heat. I'm gonna try with the um my goose sauce. 
So this is the tender with the Magoo, with the Huey Magoo sauce, y'all. Mmm. This sauce don't taste like raisin cans. It look like it, but it don't taste like it. Mm. Very good. Try it out. All right. I'm going to grab two tenders. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. This tender. And cutie Q sauce. Cutie Q sauce. All right, now. This one in the Mag Mr. Magoo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> In the Mr. Magoo. All right, Mr. Magoo sauce. Uh, hootie, hootie Magoo. And y'all try drinking guava pineapple juice. Hubby has a pink lemonade. Q to Q, two to boot. <laughs> All right. Listen, Listen he get that two to boot stuff because she he says she's like a baby in the face. Yeah, two to boot. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's me and Mandy two to boot. <laughs> <laughs> Right, right. <laughs> All right, so. Mm -hmm. It don't taste better than cutie cute sauce now. The it's all right. Magoo mm -hmm. over here. With the cutie cute. The cutie cute. Let's see. Magoo, okay. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing special about it. Cutie cute sauce, baby. Let me eat some of that cutie cute sauce. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Mr. Magoo sauce. Mm -hmm. Cute, cute sounds. It ain't got no spunk. It ain't got no wop. Like you. Yeah, it, it needs some kick. Cute, cute sauce got that kick to it. Mm-hmm, that flavor. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah, it, ne it needs something else in there. Mm-hmm. Here you go. All right. The magoo sauce is um, it is all right. So, for me, Mr. Magoo, he can have his sauce back and go back to the lab, <laughs> along with his um, uh, mustard, honey mustard. Honey mustard one good either. I don't like it. Mmm. I'm gonna try the garlic palm for y'all. The garlic palm looks like olive garden dressing. So I'm not too keen on that. Cause I like my sauces to be thick. No. Let um Mandy taste the uh sweet heat. It's good. The sweet heat. Well you like sweet heat anyway. Mm. It's really good. I'm gonna try it. Really good. Mm-hmm. She getting full, y'all. Y'all already know. <laughs> she rocking. <laughs> Cut it out, telling on me. I'm in it by, by myself. No, in the not. race. No, you not. She done passed the baton. <laughs> it's up to me to cross the finish line. <laughs> no, it's not, baby. <laughs> oh. I need to some fries when I need to do. This cold salt, I don't like it. I know y'all y'all be saying, oh, they don't eat a lot. Mm -hmm. They don't eat a lot. We don't waste damn food. I go back in there and eat up all this <laughs> on the second go round. <laughs> he sure will do, y'all. I even go back and get me a bite or two, too. Because when, when you don't eat a whole lot in one, in one sitting, you get hungry again in a couple more hours. So you might take another bite or two or something and you get full again. You know, so you end up eating one meal in a whole day. One regular size portion meal that the average person will eat in one day a lot of times. Or half of that most likely for me, half of that. Because I get hungry again, but I take a bite and I'm full again already after that next bite. So it's like weird. And it depends on what I eat. Mm -hmm. Like stuff like vegetables and stuff. Oh, my body crave that stuff. But like meats and all that, I'm limited on what I can do with that. I don't know. I ain't mad at the situation because I'm hmm, keeping my weight down. Let me tell you that. I'm going to do our thumbnail. Ooh, we're going to get it in right now. <laughs> I'm going to hold up some toast. I'm going to hold up some tenders. Like 
sauce. They toast a little soft. It's a little soft, but it's also like, mm -hmm. How you explain it? No, wrong way. No, I'm going the right way. Oh. It's not good. Mm -mm. You ain't got no flavor to it. Why you try to mm. put butter on it? But like you put butter spray on it. Yeah. Mm. Mm. They need some garlic butter spray. Mm hmm. And how you calling this Texas toast? This must be the baby Texas toast. <laughs> <laughs> he always got to play about the food. Why you don't like that? Don't do Mr. Little, don't little do Mr. Magoo like that. Uh, maybe because they call it Mr. Magoo. Because he cut them. He thought he was cutting big thick slices, but he can't see. He cut the thin ones. Shut up. <laughs> Y'all seen the Mr. Magoo cartoon? The big <laughs> nose man? Little short man? You too much. I want to try this garlic palm sauce, but I'm scared I ain't gonna like it. I'm gonna wait. Yeah, it looked like, look like it looked like that uh, Olive Garden dressing. I'm telling you, yeah, I ain't with that. It looked like Olive Garden salad dressing. Yeah, I ain't with that. I don't like my sauces wet like that now. Water looking like, ugh. oh. Mm. If you put some noodles in it, it looked like um, chicken noodle soup. <laughs> right, that's not what it looked like. Y'all see, I can't even hardly hold it up to y'all because y'all, you know, I want to spill it on the food because I ain't trying to taste that. Chicken noodle soup with a soda on the side. <laughs> Give me the soup with a baseball bag. With a baseball bag. That was one crazy weird song. That's when you knew mumble rapping was gonna be coming out. Oh my god. We should have known, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. mm, 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 mm. You guys, we are so sorry that we haven't been putting out a lot of videos lately. We no, we been... not. We ain't sorry. <laughs> yes, we are. Mm -mm, we not. We've been living a good restful <laughs> life. <laughs> mm. <laughs> no, we have missed you guys, and you know it. We have missed you guys. We 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 ain't say nothing about missing. Yeah, I miss y'all, but I ain't I ain't sorry for not putting out no video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not built. Hey, cut it out. Mm -mm. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I forgot he was sitting there trying to Let me edit a video, baby. Let me put a video up. Mm -hmm. So you missed them too. I'm going to try mm -hmm. the sweet heat sauce first, y'all. Mmm. You're right. It is good. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of a sweet and sour or a Thai chili, you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. it ain't Popeyes mm -mm. for sure. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, sweet heat, mm -mm. cause I it's love better that. Than that. It's better than that to me. You yeah. think Popeyes better? I like Popeyes. Okay. Well, I like the one I make with Popeyes. Yeah, cause when you make, it's better than Popeyes too. When but this one, on. it's good, cause mm -hmm. like you said, it's like a sweet chili. Yeah, sweet chili. Sweet um, heat. Yeah, I like that. We got like an Asian flair mm -hmm, taste. They do. So, um, Huey Magoo's did good on that sauce. Mm -hmm. They did good on that one. And like I said, this is our first time trying them out, y'all. We've never been there before. Um, we saw when they built one in the Millennial uh, Mall area. Um, near the Millennium Mall, they built one. But didn't know what it was. And now they just opened up one near Dr. Phillips. So, we went over there and got um, the food today. Because that's mm -hmm. closer to home, the Dr. Phillips area. So yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Mm. I want to give a shout out to our uh, Tudor Boot. She had her um, aunt. Um, she had Aunt, aunt Hazel on. Yeah, Aunt Hazel. Shout out to um, Q and Aunt Hazel. Yeah. Um, my um my uncle Grady, uh Auntie <laughs> Hazel, he trying to meet with you. <laughs> my uncle Grady said, "What up, though?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, MG, it's too much, y'all, too much. But that will be fun, though. That will be fun. I told her about that. I yeah. told her about that. <laughs> 
Auntie Hazel meeting Uncle Grady. Yeah, my Uncle Grady had done went crazy. He said, oh, boy! <laughs> hey, slow down, huh? Slow down, Uncle Grady. We, hey, pause. <laughs> he a mess. He a mess. He is a mess. Y'all know I love ice. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's so good. These things good. Yeah. They cook the tenders really, really nice. Excuse me, y'all. They cook the tenders really, really good. I like the way they cook their tenders and the way they fry them. It tastes really good. Is and you? I'm pretty sure if you ate inside the restaurant, they'd be even like, even more banging. You know, because it'd be fresh out of the grease. They should have made a coleslaw dip. Um, <laughs> it tastes good on the chicken. Yeah, coleslaw and chicken. Yeah, it always tastes good. When the coleslaw made right, of course. This cold sauce is pretty decent though. Right, it ain't no 10, but you know, I give it a good seven. Mm -hmm. It's up there. It's up there. It's like he says, it's real, real wet. I don't like my cold sauce too, mm -hmm. too wet. Not mm -hmm. too wet. I like it to still feel like I'm eating vegetable, you know? I'm not like wrong. I'm cream sauce. I like the wet, but come on now. <laughs> it's a little too wet. <laughs> yeah, just saying. It's a little too wet, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's seasoned really well. Yeah, everything is seasoned. Yeah, it's seasoned, it's seasoned really well, y'all. Ooh, I'm so full. Can't take another bite. Mm. You know what? I had to put three tenders up. You know, you know, three tenders. Yeah. I ate one tender. I ate that. One ham. Ooh, y'all. Mm -hmm. We just want to share a little lunch with y'all. Yeah, and let you guys know we yep. love you and that, you know. We thinking about you. That's right. I miss you guys. <laughs> we just been so busy, y'all. We got so many good things going on, and we just been so busy trying to execute and finalize a lot of things that we got to work on, and we just, we just get busy. Yep. Um, last night, we went to the Life Jennings um, concert at the House of Blues Orlando. That was really nice to see um, Life Jennings perform. We got free tickets, you know, in our little business class we was telling you guys about. From my um, family. Yeah, we, we met we met another couple. <clears throat> and the couple was so adamant about meeting us and it was so good because it was like we was trying to meet them as well. So finally we got a chance to link up. We got free tickets to the Life Jenna's concert. We got to hang out with them. It was really, really nice. We had a really, really good time um, hanging out with them, going out to dinner with them and just, you know, Getting to know them better, and us, them getting to know us. It, it was beautiful, y'all. So beautiful. shout out to my brother, yeah. Eddie B. Yes. My sis. Jasmine. We love you guys, and we really appreciate the time that you guys uh, spent with us last night. We had a lot of fun, y'all. We really did. And, um, yeah, so that's what we've been up to, you know, making sure that we enjoy our personal time as well as, you know, continuously working towards leveling up, you know. Yeah, putting them fingers to the plow, mm -hmm. and that we are. Oh, that we are definitely doing. That we are definitely doing. The next 90 days, we're hoping to see a lot of progress in um, the things that we got going on. So we're really happy about that. And that's why we haven't been doing as many YouTube videos as we used to do. Because we're working and working on the other things we got going on outside of work. And then um, trying to make the videos, it's been kind of hard, you know, because our camera mount isn't working as well. So I have to get a new camera mount so that we at least try to do a couple of car move bombs mm -hmm. for you. Hopefully, y'all can see the new car. <laughs> you know, so we just been busy doing stuff like that. But, yeah, we just we just kind of like, like I said, mm -hmm. staying focused on our goals, writing in our journals, you know, staying on, on the grind, journaling, you know, making sure we sit down and go over our budget and talk about the plans that we have and making sure that we execute everything and what trips we have on the calendar for this year, working on our calendars. You know, we're still doing all that stuff. So we just want to kind of like, you know, we don't want to keep preaching that every day, but... We just want to reiterate that. Make sure you guys are continuously journaling. Make sure you take, yep. you know, taking care of your um, calendars, putting the important things you need to get done, and executing. Like this morning, we knew we had something important to do. We wanted to lay in and sleep because we had been out last night drinking and partying, Excuse dancing, and having a good time. But guess what? Guess Business. What? We had to get up. First. We had to get up. Let me tell you something. You'll lay in that bed and let, and let you be late for work. You jump out that bed. I'm late for work. But let me tell you something. If I can do that for them... Darn show can do it for you. Right. So I, we jumped out that bed today. We had mm -hmm. to. We got up out that bed. It was like, you know, let's get up. So we got up early this morning and we got we got we got started with our day. We got to moving. We got to moving around. 
Mm-hmm. And at first, it's that first initial just getting up like that and us leaving the house and taking care of, you know, a couple of things we had to take care of. It got us motivated, got us energized. We weren't sleeping no more. We was ready to roll. And got a lot of things done. Had to go mm-hmm. fax some things to yep. some places mm-hmm. um, that is in um, motion with um, everything being done. Mm-hmm. Um Man, it's it's just a blessing. It is. That it feels feel good. You can build something with your significant other. <laughs> right. And know God got his hands all the way in it. And all over it. Mm, mm, mm. It feels good. It feels real good. It almost made me emotional because I'm it's been a long time coming and we just been waiting for this opportunity. We've been waiting for this moment. And um I've been letting fear and being afraid stop mm-hmm. me. But you know what? I say, you know what? Ain't ain't no time like the present, and ain't no room for being fear. And Eddie said something last night to me. Eddie said, "When you get that first big check, you gonna be scared no more." <laughs> <laughs> he right, Eddie right, he right, and I claim that Eddie, I claim that man. I really appreciate that brother because you know we need those encouraging words like that. And it was a really really positive dinner and conversation with Jasmine and Eddie. And I'm just telling you, we just love them, and um, the vibe we got from them was all beautiful and good and. We can't wait to hang out with them again. Don't Honestly, worry. Y'all going to see them. Y'all going to see the fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 they are them. really, really good people, and I'm genuinely happy that we met them. Seriously. Because you need people that are um, headed in the direction you are and people who are already having success in the things you want to do. So that, that made me feel real good to you know, hear Eddie's success stories of things and accomplishments that he has going on right now at this very moment. And um, Jasmine too, so you know it, it feels good to know people that are actually going to places that you already going to places that you want to go. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it can help get you there too. You know by giving you encouraging words and just you know advising you if you know this is this don't sound too good or this this is be a good fit for you. It feels good to have somebody like that around. You know, because when you don't have a lot of friends that have that type of um, admiration. Or um, even that background, they don't even know anything about some of the things you want to do. It's kind of hard to conversate with them about it because they really can't help you. And it's not to say that you don't talk to your friends about the things you want to do because they you don't have any knowledge of it. It's just that when it's time to talk business, these are the friends that you would have that second conversation with as well. You mm-hmm. know, you know, you would have you would be able to have that conversation just casual with this with Eddie and Jasmine. Plus, talk business with Eddie and Jasmine because yeah. you know they understand where you're coming from. Versus if you was talking to somebody. Who don't know it's gonna be a little hard to have that conversation so it feels good to be meeting people now that you know definitely um have the determination and they are um the goal focus and they they on top of it they on top of it including the ones we already have built a relationship with. absolutely 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 you know i honestly gotta say we got good friends we don't have anybody around us we don't talk to anybody who is you know not good people you know we, we, we usually deal with good people and I, I love that about our situation hmm. and so that's really what we've been up to y'all we just been trying to level up um stay focused um be determined and really work on not procrastinating just working on our goals and, yes. and working on um, yes, yes. breaking a lot of habits that's what we're working on breaking a lot of habits and continuously praying together you know now we get in the car Hubby just grabbed my hand. We start praying. We get up in the morning. That's in the morning. In the morning, he in grabbed the my hand. Afternoon and, and in and, the evening. And even yeah, he grabbed my hands and we'll we'll you know we'll touch forehead to forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta and, get it and we, in. And we just pray. We just pray, y'all. And that's what we're doing now. We just praying. And like I said, if we wronged anybody, we are so sorry. We really are sorry. And I'm gonna start um sending out cards and letters to people that I may offended and let them know I love them and I'm sorry. Because you know what, I'm giving up my my my, my right to be right, mm-hmm. and I'm giving up the idea that there's something wrong with everybody. I am, and I'm gonna make it right with everybody. If there's a, somebody out there who feel like you know, wow, they did me wrong, I'm gonna make sure I make it right. Whether they feel like I'm making it right or not, on my end, it's gonna be pure and clean, and I'm gonna be moving on, clean slate. You know what I mean? Because you have to, you know, you have to, you know. I don't want nobody ever doing. I don't. I don't want nobody ever thinking I'm doing anything out of guilt on my part what i what i'm what i'm operating from is a place of love now yep. and that's that's it that's place it. of love and if it ain't if it ain't operating from love then i'm gonna go ahead and shut it down shut it down don't do it yep 
if I'm not giving out of love, mm-hmm. if I'm not speaking out of love, mm-hmm. I need to keep my mouth shut That's and right. keep my pockets closed. That's it. Because if, if I gave you, if I give you something, mm-hmm. yeah, I gave it to you, but I ain't give it to you in the right way. That's so right. So all that stuff have to be done the right way. And out of love. <clears throat> do what you do out of love. Because, you, you know, you shouldn't hate nobody and you shouldn't be holding on ill will towards anybody or hanging up over nobody here. You know, one thing about me that I'm, I'm so proud of myself is that I've never been a follower. I've always been a leader. I always allow what my experience with you are to determine how I feel about you That's and right. whether or not I want to deal with you. I don't ever, ever come from a place of, oh, because they don't deal with you anymore. I'm not going to deal with you anymore. I don't, I don't like those kind of people because they, I thought they're weak people. So when you know that people are just not for you, you just don't deal with them, but you don't hate them. You don't feel no different about them. You just move on from them, you know? And if you feel like somebody think you wronged them, just try to make it right and operate from a place of love going forward. You know what I'm saying? And you'll see so many blessings and so many doors open up in your life. You will. That's right. And that's where we at right now. Double M's, if you like this this video, video. make sure you thumbs it up. Thumbs it up. Boom! Get that thing up. Happy days, fun to have. <laughs> Make sure you guys hit us in the comments. Hit Go us in the comments. Holla at your boy. Holla we're going to holler girl. back at you. You know we are. Go on and what? Hit that notification bell. Bing! So you can be notified of all the content, all the videos that, that we, we have in store for you. Don't forget to share. Share the videos. Ain't going to hurt nothing to share nothing. And if you are a new subscriber, hey. welcome to the Double M Kingdom. Welcome to the Double M Kingdom. And if you haven't subscribed, what you waiting for? That button right there. Push it. Go on, push that button. You know you're going to be over here with us. You know you do. Don't be jealous. You ain't got to be. Don't be jealous. Just join the family. Push that button. Don't be in the corner over there. <laughs> and we'll see you guys in our next video. All right. We out. Bye. <laughs> you what, man? You still eating? I'm done. Me too.